welcome to another episode of Chef J's Piece of Cake with me, Jules, where we talk about all things baking, caking, and chefpreneurship. So today, we will be talking about one of the most important things when it comes to opening your own bake shop. From my first episode, I have talked to you about the tips on how to open your own food business or your own bake shop. And in this episode, we will be taking up a notch by doing and creating your own business plan. A little background about myself is that I am a graduate of College of St. Daniel. Um, I took up HRIM where I majored in culinary arts. And one of the nicest things I learned about my course was that it's not only us preparing food and presenting it, but also we were taught about having our own and we had an entrepreneurship subject. So I was handled by Sir Aaron Tanko. So Sir Aaron Tanko is one of the owners of the Zoo Patisserie and Catering. It is one of the most successful businesses here in Manila. Okay? So uh, we should be starting right now because this is pretty long. So we will be talking about the, the reasons why you actually need to have your own business plan. As cliche as it may sound, it's really needed guys because for me, most especially to the SMEs, to those um, small businesses who are dreaming of doing it big or just, you know, like they want to start their own concept, their own business, of course. It is a roadmap of you um, because, of course, you are starting a new journey, diba? Right? And, without, and without a map, you will be lost. So if this is planned, like from the word nga plan, you are actually preparing yourself for that journey. Okay, so there are four main purposes when it comes to building your own business plan. And that is, number one, knowing your financial needs. Of course guys, sino bang may ayaw na malaman kung how much ba talaga yung aabutin ng business? Hindi kasi pwedeng, for example, um, like like group of friends kayo or family kayo, tapos sasabihin mo, okay, sige, 50k ako, ako, 50k, ikaw, how much? Diba? Hindi pwedeng ganun. When it comes to having a business, hindi mo, hindi mo malalaman, not unless you will really study it. Like for example, um, usual scenarios na naririnig ko is that nag-shell out ng 50k si partner 1 plus nag-shell out ng another 50k si partner 2. And then eventually, nakapag-build na nila yung business, they will realize na, oh my gosh, kulang yung shell out natin and we have to shell out more. So syempre, for us to be prepared, diba, we want to really know how much. So this is very helpful to those who really want to know na kung gano ba kalaki yan. Kasi diba, every kind of business is different from the others. And then number two is growth strategy. We're in, in every business, diba, parang baby lang yan. Magiging baby, that's what they call birth pains, diba? So, kapag baby, tapos syempre lumalaki na yan. And of course, guys, kapag lumalaki, mas marami rin nagiging problem and challenges. So, in this business plan, malalaman mo na yun. Parang you are actually thinking ahead of what you're, you are about to go into. Diba? And then the next is, of course, you have to attract investors. Because what is the purpose of a business plan? Actually, it's for them. Because eventually, if you want to share your business to others, you will have to present it to them to, to, to attract them and to encourage them to give their money out. Siyempre, hard-earned money yan. So, very important sa kanila um, kung saan nila ibibigay yung money nila. That's why having a business plan is is really important. Diba? And lastly, of course, is to document your business. Because for me, if you're not documenting your business, hindi mo din maaaral kapag, kapag kunya, pinagtagal ka na like 10 years or 15 years, kapag hindi mo alam talaga na, ah, okay, so lumalaki na pala ako, tapos, Ah, paano yan? Nagkaroon ako ng challenge na ganito. So, this one is really like a roadmap of your business. Okay. So, um, to those who are really new to this and yung mga hindi masyado in a way um, equipped to make their own business plan. Guys, I am not pushing you to make a very parang detailed one, yung parang pang-present na parang pang-defense na thesis. Ha? 
this is like like just make it really simple like make it a journal in here i will be sharing with you the notebooks that i have so hindi ko siya tinatago well mer meron na rin akong mga natapon ko pero pero kini ko yung mga notes na may mga important information na kailangan ko na in like for example meron akong gustong i-review so I, at least i have those so, yun. so this is for you to, to eventually see the importance of having one. Because um, to be honest, marami akong na kikita na very enthusiastic sa naman open ng business. But then again, once they see na parang oh, shocks, it's hard. Or parang hindi ko expect na ganito pa nakahirap mag open ng business. This will really help you. Para sa family planning, guys, de ba? Mas magiging prepared ka if you actually plan for it. Not not unlike you, like parang sige, like like shoot jan or whatever, de ba? This one will really help you na maging equipped and be ready. And of course, guys, less stress. Kasi ang business grabe yung stress niyan. As in, in every aspect, talagang hindi mo marirealize na it's really consuming and if you want to have it in a way less stressful this will help you okay so we are going to talk about the parts of having a business plan then again guys just make a parang brief explanation or brief um or brief documentation of your business 